Yo, what's going on guys, it's Crypto TMG. I'm back with a brand new video. And today we're going to be discussing the BOP on ACC at the moment. And um, yeah, guys, I'm not going to lie. I'm not happy. I'm not happy, mate. I'm telling you, normally I'll try and hold it down. I'll try not to be too negative. But uh, today, nah, nah, nah. Once I've seen this, I'm, 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 lit. I'm done. There's nothing else more to say. I personally, personally think over the last year or so the bop hasn't always been that great we seem to always have one or maybe two cars maximum that are so dominant that there's probably no point in really choosing a different car over a whole calendar now i'm not talking about hot lapping or one-off hot laps where you can nail a lap in any i think i believe in the hot laps most cars you can nail a lap pretty close but when it comes to racing endurance racing hour long races and stuff there's definitely a difference in the cars man and that's cool not every car can be the same but what we're looking at here today to me is stuff that doesn't make sense now these are the you know the the tracks and the bop as following so we know the way kuno's like to do it sort of eua means monza eub1 means paul ricard and yada 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 so let's just scroll down to the cars um, this is the Aston Martins lost 10 kg at um, Monza, which is EUA. So it's lost a little bit of weight at Monza. Probably won't make a massive difference. Maybe maybe a tenth or so. Cool. Over a race diff over a race distance, yes, probably will make uh, a, a bit of a difference, right? The Audi R8 Evo 2 has gained 10 kg at Monza. Now, I ain't no rocket scientist, but I don't ever think I seen the Mon uh, at Monza at Audi B literally, you know, one of the fastest cars. So I'm not quite sure why the nerf has happened to the Audi because I don't believe it to be a you know a real front runner at Monza anyway. So I'm not sure why they needed to add weight. Um, BMW M4, which if you watch the race at the weekend, um, the weekend just gone, the BMW was rapid at monza they were by far the fastest car in the real world right so um update drag generation not too sure what that means um but when we scroll down this is the one that's getting me a little bit the ferrari 296 which in my opinion at the moment is probably the fastest car on the game or if not very very close right minus 25 kg on monza donnington Kialami, Bathurst, Autumn Park, Paul Ricard, Spa, Watkins Glen shares the same BOP group for now. Don't know what that means at the end there, but they've made it faster at a plethora of tracks for what? It's already fast. Are they trying to make it so all anybody does is just jump in a Ferrari? You've seen it in LFM recently, right? If you sign up for an LFM race today, 90% of people are just in the Ferrari. Okay, like, and I, I don't want to be that guy, but if we're going back to a stage where everyone just picks the same car because they're forced to, because the cars that they like are just not competitive, bro, we don't want to go back there, man. We don't want to go back to, to that state. I've already seen it time and time again. I saw it with the, um, the Porsches back in the day. I saw it with the McLarens. You know what I mean? We've seen it with the Hondas. We don't need to go back here, bro. There's too many. There's too many capable cars on the game to just focus on one or two cars and make them so much faster than everything else because it doesn't make any sense. The Ferrari was already quick, all right. But okay, let's go down to the next one, the Lamborghini Evo 2, which to me was already a couple attempts maximum or a couple attempts at best off of the Ferrari and and the Porsche. And probably the AMG as well, which technically is a new car as well, right? Minus 30 kg, so they took the weight down, but then it receives a power nerf from 6,500 to the limiter on EUA, which is Monza, right? So that's only affecting one track. But then a power nerf to top speed on all tracks. Why? Why are we nerfing the Lambo when it already was not quite at the level of the fastest cars? So... We're then taking the Lambo out of the equation and, and kind of making it surplus to requirements because we already have cars that are quicker. And that's the thing about the, the, the sim racing community, especially when you're racing competitively. 
is we will buy stuff because it's new and we all like new things but don't get it twisted when it comes to a racing situation or league races and stuff people will only pick what is fast we don't care how new it is it doesn't matter we'll buy the new stuff because we like new stuff but when it comes to competitive races if a car is not fast no one is not going to use it that lambo evo 2 once we sign up for aor you know when once people start doing you know different leagues and stuff like that no one's going to use the lambo because it's slow <laughs> it's it's not going to well i say it's slow it's not going to be able to compete with the ferrari or probably the new porsche so what's the point what's the point of making these cars not capable of competing with the fastest cars in the game it makes no point you've got maybe what 18 19 cars in the game and from 19 cars we have maybe two or three that can get within a couple of attempts and the, the rest are just useless what's the point so we scroll down even more mclaren 720s minus 5 kg at monza gonna do absolutely nothing nothing that's not gonna change a damn thing all right the mercedes amg evo now this is something that needed to happen increased it 15 kg at eua which was monza where the mercedes was by far the quickest car if you watch the sro uh esports um round one right so we already seen that and we should be seeing the bmw up there we should be seeing more than just the new cars up there in my opinion but all we saw was a bunch of amgs just destroy everyone so fair enough they said okay let's fix that all right let's fix that that's fine increase drag generation again we don't know how that will affect the cars but then we have um, the porsche which has lost weight at monza as well so they're trying to bring the porsche into it that's fine this is the kind of thing that i don't mind seeing they're trying to amend things that look broken but then power nerf to top speed on all tracks minus eub2 eub2 is spa okay so you gave the ferrari less weight around all these tracks and then every other car pretty much got a nerf apart from minor minor buffs for the mclaren at monza you know like we got well the, the lambo got quite a big buff in terms of weight at monza but then it got a power nerf at top speed on all the other tracks why are we doing that i don't get it because in, in my opinion the lambo was never on the same level as the ferrari anyway <laughs> so why are we nerfing it you know why are you killing people's opportunity to choose something different all we're doing is making everybody just going to jump in the same car and i promise you you're going to see it when AOR starts back up back up you're going to see 90 percent of people are going to be in the ferrari and then it's going to be sprinkled with a few porsches here and there and that's going to be it there's going to be no point driving anything else and that that's what that's what we should be trying to avoid man we don't want to get to the stage again for the umpteenth time where we're forced to drive a car that we don't necessarily want to drive but because everyone is so desperate to be competitive that's what's gonna happen and to me it just it makes things so boring bro like so but like i don't just only want to see ferraris on the grid i get it it's a new car that's cool now i mean but let's have a choice let's be able to pick an audi let's be able to pick a bmw and aston a bentley a lexus if we want there's no point in having all these cars in the game if half of them are six seven tenths off the pace what's the point i watched i watched the the pro series yesterday for lfm and bro <laughs> like okay you can say some guys obviously are faster than others that's cool but you can get a fast guy in a lambo you can get a fast guy in a ferrari right and we're talking about guys who are they can all qualify for esports competitions seven tenths difference like what is that and even if you wanted to say okay someone could have drove the lamborghini three tenths faster than that it's still four tenths five tenths slower you put that into a race distance bro it's not even close it's a, it's ridiculous it's actually ridiculous to have that sort of gap and we're doing it again we had all this with the honda don't we not remember how fast the honda was at spa to the point where it's like bro if you're not driving a honda you might as well go home mate because it's so much faster than everything else it's just no point we've had it with the porsche at laguna seca there's no point 
it was so much faster than anything else you know you're not you're not racing a Porsche for, for wins you know and I, I just think with the amount of cars we have in the game surely they should make a bigger effort to make the BOP closer and I know they're going to come out and say well the teams give us the the information we have to generate into the game we can't alter certain things but I also know that a lot of the teams real life teams don't want to give out all the information so it's up to kunos to make the, the you know to, to make up the difference and it's like it seems as if it seems as if they're like well if the team don't give us all the information we want we're not going to help them by making the car good on the game and it's like what like they don't care <laughs> if their car's good in real life they don't care whether their car's good on a game or not it doesn't affect them the only people it affects is us the ones who are buying the dlc the ones who are playing the game the ones who are trying to compete we're the only people that's going to lose out because we're just going to be forced to drive whatever the meta car is you know what i mean so i don't get this if, if kunos have parameters where they can change stuff to make a car more or less competitive and you know because they haven't been given all the information why would they make a car less competitive surely the best thing to do would be to make the car as decent as possible to keep it in line with all the other cars to make sure there's a bigger choice so therefore when we have all these races when we have all these races that are being streamed and stuff and so many people are watching it it makes for a much better race look we can we can watch a race where there are two nine sixes at the front followed by a bmw followed by a porsche and an audi and a lambo and it's all in the mix and everyone's within a couple of ten that's what everyone wants to see so why are we regressing and going back to the stage back in the day like when we had the bentleys that were by far the fastest car in the race so everyone just jumped in a bentley i still remember that sro race that had 15 bentleys and one amg and like that was a live event and it was embarrassing bro and even though tormala did a crazy job and got pole position in the amg like i said before hot lapping it means nothing the only thing that means anything is what the car can do in a race bro and if a car is easy to drive and fast best believe in the race eventually they will get towards the front and what happened in that race that Tormala got pole for at Spa when all the other everybody every other driver was in the Bentley and he got pole in the AMG what happened in the race he got smoked you know what I mean and that's that's what happens I know people are going to come out and say yeah but you know I did this time and that time in this car so the BOP is not bad bullshit <laughs> bullshit prove it let me see that car in a race over a calendar against the ferrari and see where that car stacks up because you might get one or two aliens that can do insane things and over a few tracks but over a whole calendar i'm telling you the ferrari is going to be untouchable mate you know i mean there might be a few races where the porsche is up there the porsche is a quick car there might be a few races where the amg is up there but if you're driving the old cars and I say old, and even though the BMW M4 is 2022, it's not really old. I'm saying the majority of the time, I don't think it's competing, bro. The majority of the time, I don't see an Audi competing. The majority of the time, I don't see an Aston compete. The majority of the time, the Lambo is not going to be competing. The majority, not, not the anomalies, but the majority. And that's, that's what I don't like, man. That's where I feel like, the, the, that's where I feel like we're falling short. We're, we're, they're selling us short on this, man, because we can... There's so much we can do with all these cars. We got like cars that are still relatively new. The Aston is still relatively, it's still a relatively new car. You know what I mean? BMW M4, another good car. You know, Audi Evo 2, good car. The Lamborghini Evo 2, good car. You know what I mean? And then we've got a new Ferrari, a new Porsche. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, a rebuilt AMG. Now that's that's like seven cars. You know what I'm saying? To that we could still could still bring the bentley into the mix we could still bring the lexus into the mix i'm not saying you should make them the fastest but you could bring them closer and that that way we have eight nine cars that are all competitive why why are we not doing that what's wrong with that like who's gonna argue if we have nine cars that can fight for wins no one's gonna argue with that but if we're just gonna sit around and watch the 296 dominate at every track how long before we all just get bored again? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I just, I don't understand it, mate. I genuinely don't understand it. Since the patch came out, from what I've seen, nine times out of 10, the Ferrari has been at the front. One of the two fastest cars, right? There's a few tracks where the Porsche is fast as well. There's a few tracks where the 
AMG's fast as well, but I've not seen any other car on at least get close to what them cars are doing on a regular basis, bro. So it's like when when I, I hope it's not going to be a thing where we're going to have to wait six months, wait for these guys to change. I like, know. Let's just just get it done, mate. Just just change it now. <laughs> before it gets embarrassing before it starts getting stupid again before we sign up for aor and we see from 35 cars signed up we see 32 ferraris you know what i mean we don't need to see that we've already seen it in the past mate we don't need to go back there all right we've experienced it everyone's experienced it it's not great it's not fun you know what i mean you you're gonna be forced to drive a car you may not want to drive let's let's just not go there bro i'm already seeing it i'm already watching people's streams in lfm and people you know Oh, I wish I could drive this car, but hmm, I can't. And we know we know what that means. The car's too damn slow. I can't compete and I'm going to be at the back and I don't want to do that because I'm streaming to an audience. <laughs> and I want to at least seem like I'm half decent at the game. So I'm now forced to drive the 296. That's what's going to happen. You know, like, come on, guys, man. Like, tell me, definitely tell me what you think in the comment section below. I'm not just ranting for no reason. I feel like we've seen this many times in the past already and... I feel like it is is going back that way slightly. They're trying to like try to slide that back in again. We don't need to see it, mate. All right, <laughs> like we definitely don't need to see it again. And I, I, I'm I'm sorry to have to rant, and I'm sorry that you guys are just looking at a, a, a blank screen basically. But this this is you know this is what we're looking at here. This is unfortunately where this stuff is going. I, I, and I went into uh, I went into Darkness Discord, and they, they had some interesting stuff. These are like the, the, the car weights and stuff like that. And I'm looking at the weights of the cars. I'm like, wow, Jesus, the BMW seems pretty heavy. Let's, let's go along. The, the Ferrari seems pretty much light everywhere. The McLaren is light everywhere. But if you look, the Ferrari's got pretty much good weight everywhere. You know, it's not bad. The only place where you can say, hmm, it is Indianapolis. That's one track, though. If you come across here, you look at like, AMG, you look at the, the new Porsche, there's loads of tracks where the car is pretty damn heavy when you're comparing it to what is its direct um, direct opponent, which to me, the direct opponent is going to be the Ferrari. The Ferrari is always light or always lighter than those other cars. So, you know, it's not going to be surprised when the Ferrari's got better tire wear. It's not going to be surprised when the Ferrari's rapid. And look at the BMW, for instance. It, bro, this is not this is not good, bro. Like, this is not good. I'm still, uh, I'm really waiting to see what maybe like Nils and them guys can get out of the BMW comparing to the Ferrari. Uh, I'm not talking about for SRO when they start manipulating BOP because that's not the reality. The reality is what happens in AOR. The reality is what happens in LFM when the BOP is not touching. It's just the game's BOP. That's the reality of where the cars are. SRO, they will at least try to alter the BOP. So it's not as bad. So it's not always, you know, the picture we see in SRO is not always as bad as what it really is. You know, you got to wait till you watch the AOR races where the BOP is untouched. Okay, that's when you see how bad it really is. But again, most people are not going to choose a crappy car. So all you're going to see is just a bunch of Ferraris. But guys, man, tell me what you guys think, man. This is insane. In my opinion, I feel like they should do a lot more. They could change a lot more. They can make it way better than it is. And I don't know why they're not. But anyway, guys, it's Cryptic TNG. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.